Welcome to another edition of Wildlife Wednesday. My name is Dave, here inside the fish cave at Montana Wild, the Education Center for Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks. And today, quickly, for Wildlife Wednesday, we're going to talk about some of the trout species in Montana and some of the important vocabulary words. It sounds like an assignment from seventh grade, but there's some words that are worth knowing when we talk about trout in Montana, like this one, as a rainbow trout which, by the way, is the most popular type of trout in the state during the summer in Montana. More people fish for rainbows than anything else. But we have rainbows that are both wild rainbows and also rainbows that are we consider to be hatchery rainbows. So that kind of that term describes where they got their start in life. And for the rainbows, if you catch a rainbow in Ten Mile Creek or Prickly Pear Creek or any of the rivers or streams in Montana, it's probably a wild fish. It started its life in that river or stream as a little egg, grew up into an adult fish, uh, spent its whole life there. So it's a wild fish. If you go to one of the lakes or ponds or reservoirs in Montana, catch a rainbow trout, um, that fish probably got its start in a hatchery. So in the hatchery, they take those fish eggs, they grow them up to fingerling size, maybe the size of your finger, and maybe not even that big. They release them into the lakes and ponds, and they grow really fast because we have such good, high-quality habitat in the water. Lots to eat, good cold water. They'll grow quickly. They'll be to this size sometimes in just a year or two and ready for people to catch. The other word when we talk about fish like this is whether we have to consider whether they're native or non-native. And native simply refers to the fact, is this a type of fish that has always been found somewhere, or is this a type of fish that was brought here and released by humans? So in the case of a rainbow trout, if you're around Helena, or most places in Montana and catch a rainbow trout, they are not native. That means 200 years ago, never would have caught a rainbow trout here. They simply weren't found in Montana. But 100 years ago, humans brought rainbows into Montana, let them go, and now they're pretty widespread. It's really... Um, Something we used to do, we don't do that anymore. In fact, it's illegal for a regular person to go out and catch a fish and move it around the state. It's called an illegal introduction because it can cause a lot of problems if the wrong fish gets into the wrong water body. An example of a type of fish that we would consider to be native would be this one. And it's identified because look underneath its jaw, see the two red slash marks. That is an easy giveaway that tells us that this one is a cutthroat trout. Super important because it is the state fish of Montana, as voted on by, I believe, the fifth graders back in 1977, picked this to be our state fish. Um, but again, we could have, even though cutthroats are native to Montana, we could have hatchery cutthroats. If you're in, if you go to Spring Meadow Lake and catch a cutthroat, that one probably came from the Washoe Hatchery in Anaconda. If you go to uh, one of the rivers in Montana, if you're on the Bitter River or the Blackfoot River and you catch a cutthroat trout, that is very, very likely 99, almost 100% chance that's a wild fish. It has spent its entire life there. Uh, it's never been inside a hatchery, strictly a wild fish, which is one of the reasons makes that, one of the things that makes Montana such a great destination for people who like to catch fish. You can catch native or non-native, wild or hatchery, kind of got something for everybody in those I didn't say this, but there's 16 different kinds of trout and salmon here in Montana. So kind of something for everybody. Hope you learned something on Wildlife Wednesday. We will see you again next time.